Okay, in the previous video, we took one of these batteries and we swapped out the guts for uh, a lithium polymer battery because I can't buy these anymore. Well, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and swap out the internal cells for original NICAD cells. So if we go ahead and put NICAD cells in here, that way we can use this with the original charger and we don't run the risk of the, with the LiPo battery of running it down too low. Uh, it works fine, it works absolutely wonderful, but if we run the thing down too low, well, we'll destroy it. So with the NICADs, you can run them flat dead and no harm, no foul. And as well, it'd be nice to have the original chargers working. But since we can't buy these batteries anymore, I've gone ahead and found kind of the next best thing or the best I could locate for this job. Oh, there we go. Same as the last one, we've got a single cell standing up, all the rest of them laying down. Now, we've got positive on this side, negative on the far side. What I did is I went to Amazon and just went through the 14 4 volt packs until I found one that looked similar and had the nub sticking up like this. The problem being is the polarity is reversed. Negative is on this side, positive is on that side. But notice the round here. It's actually not reversed. It's just spun around. So I think we can make this work if we can get into it. Next size up. Yep. They were just grabbing, just barely. These little screwdrivers are my snap on ones from being in the trade. Fantastic little screwdrivers, but ridiculous expensive. The difference with the snap on stuff is just durability. They, uh, they just last and last, and as well, all snap-on screwdrivers pretty much will have this shoulder here where you can put a wrench on it. Because uh, when you're in the trade, you're generally working with stuck stuff. I don't know screws in this thing. Okie dokie. This is what we find underneath. Looks remarkably similar, yeah? Remarkably. This is not going to be a difficult process at all. So if we can just lift this out, maybe. We just set it right there to the back. We're just going to clone that. And the only thing we need to do to clone that is just spin this around. 180 degrees. So hopefully this will just slide out just as easy as that one. And the layout looks identical. So I think I might have done good from Amazon. Oh yeah, we done good. Look at that. Happy, happy. So we'll go ahead. Let's see what we can do with this cell here. Is it glued or just double stucky taped? Imagine it's just, oh, we do have a contact point there. Now why would we have that? Because they chose to run it up the side like that. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of wiring. Ooh, or, or, let's see, is that, that tab just runs up. Is it soldered? Yeah. We're not going to be able to. Well, actually, we might be able to. You know what we can do is we're probably just going to want to solder a wire to that tab, nip that tab off, spin it around. Are we in the same location? I guess I forgot to check that. So. Just looking. 
<laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. I, I could try this. This almost looks like it could fit both ways, forward or back. And you could actually flip this around and just move this cell forward and just not use one of our end screws. That looks like it's actually possible, but just eyeballing that, it might be a little further to the back. So I think what we'll do is we'll just nip that off. We'll make a wire jumper across and come around to the backside and just run a nice little heavier, maybe heavier than this stuff. Man, slight duty, eh? Or we can go right up to the top here to the positive, but uh, it's not much to it. So I just had to take that one riser piece out of there, a little spacer, and then I think our top should fit a lot better. We should fit right down. So the cell's in the right place and all the terminals are in the right place, if we're lucky. And we're there. So that should do the trick. Still a little snug on the top side, so I may use something thinner. Let's try. Is this round one thinner? No. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's still it's still not quite right. Like we could cinch that down, but it's not quite right. We need something just a little bit thinner. These pucks are too too thick. So there's the original spacer from the original battery. Let's see if that makes it a little happier. And it does. That works good. No jiggle jiggle. We'll put that back together. Get everything in place and we just sort of screwed them down. And this should, should work a lot better. Oogie doogie. Take out our lithium polymer one. He's good to go. All right. Now we're back running with the lithium or with the NICAD batteries, we can use this in our normal charger. I think what I'll do is I'll swap the other uh, one, the lithium polymer out and put that pack back in my, uh, my quadcopters, but it got us by, it got me going until I could find these. So wonderful, back in business. We've replaced the guts of a pack that you can no longer buy at any store anywhere. And all the used ones are gone to garbage cause they're quite old. So drill back in service, awesome stuff. If you like what I do here, go ahead down below. There's a, a link to my Patreon and if you want to support me there or just click a thumbs up on this video. It really helps. Cheers, guys.